Hi everyone and welcome to a special Nico's Kitchen coming from the Tastemade Studios here in Los Angeles. Today I've got a special guest with me, Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. How are you doing? Man? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Now, nice you. just for those people who don't know who you are, tell me a little bit about Ballistic Barbecue. Ballistic Barbecue is a channel, it's all about outdoor cooking. Mm -hmm. I do some very traditional American style barbecue. So what are we making today? Today we are making one of my favorite hamburgers. It's from a restaurant called Smash Burger. I live in San Diego. This is the San Diego burger we're gonna be making. Now one of the cool things about Smash Burger is they actually prepare their burgers in a way that's very different to most of the American burger joints. Okay. They just loosely pack them. Yep. All right, so patties are done. What I'm going to do now is we're gonna place the meat in the fridge, let it chill out yep. a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, Rob, so like I was saying, we're making the San Diego burger. Basically what Smash Burger does is they make a signature burger for every town they land in. Yep. I live in San Diego, so it's a San Diego burger. It's got a lot of Mexican spices and flavors going on. Bit of heat? A little bit of heat, yeah, okay. not overwhelming though. <laughs> so what we have here is just some regular old American mayonnaise. Okay. And you know chipotle? Yes. Okay, we got some chipotle paste here. It's like a pureed yep. chipotle, okay. which is basically just, you know, a uh, ripe jalapeno that's mm -hmm. been smoked. And I'm just nice. going by eye here. And Mix. that's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Yep. You ready to burn some yeah. uh, knuckle hairs here? <laughs> Let's go. We're going to drag Rob Nixon out of this the domain yeah. that he rules. Out of the grill. And we're going to take him out to the grill. <laughs> so let's get cooking. First thing I'm going to do is just get these buns started on the toast. These are Mexican Torella buns. All right, now here's where the fun begins. <laughs> I'm going to take some clarified unsalted butter. Okay. I'm going to paint my flat top with the butter. Take my patty. That's the noise. That's the noise. The money maker right there. Now, next thing I have, which is a smash burger thing, is a smasher. You can use just a heavy spatula. Okay. We're gonna hold this down for 10 seconds. Just lift off, pull the paper off. So what I'm going to do is just kind of keep an eye on the meat as it cooks. You can see so this will this will cook from the bottom up? It actually cooks from the bottom up. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is take my seasoning salt, and this is just a mixture of salt, pepper, salt, yeah. pepper and garlic. garlic. Garlic as well. Garlic powder, yes. Okay. Pepper jack cheese, and again, you could use whatever cheese you want. All right, so one of the keys about a good smash burger is they're served piping hot. Yep. So we're gonna go from plate to mouth, basically. Okay. Let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and put those rolls down. And, and what I'm going to do is dress these, serve them to you how they do. And they kind of serve it open face, and then you close it up. All right, so nice. burger down with that beautiful pepper jack cheese that you guys need to start carrying in Australia. <laughs> so we have that really nice chipotle mayo. Yep. Gonna throw down here on the bun, then green leaf lettuce. The next thing we're gonna do is put down two very thinly sliced pieces of tomato. And these are San Diego avocados. What is this? It's coriander. Coriander. Or cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> but we would call it coriander. You like red, uh, red onion? I love red onion. This is exactly how they mince it, very thinly, but a little long. Okay. You don't just dice it up. Yeah. You know what this stuff is? No. It's crema mexicana. I put it in a little squeeze bottle. Okay. Basically what it is, it's a Mexican version of sour, sour cream. cream. They call this table cream, okay. and it flows very nicely. Right. It's perfect for tacos, perfect for this. Okay. What we're going to do is... Wow, it's much thinner. Yes, it is. It's very watery. We're going to squeeze that lime on there. Okay. And then we flip this. And, and I do it both at the same you time. Do I, I do it like this. Bam. Okay. Well, let me... Bam. There you go. You did it good. Bam. Cheers, mate. It. Cheers. A little bit of juice. I really love the flavors of that. That coriander cilantro is really, really nice. But that avocado sort of cools everything. Now, it wouldn't be a barbecue in Australia without some beer. Now, I know in America, now you guys do the same thing. But what beer have you got for me? Again, I went with the San Diego theme. San Diego has a huge craft beer culture. Okay. This is one of our local yeah. breweries, Ballast Point. This is a pale ale and it's called Yellowtail. They use all the ocean fish on their labels. Okay. All right guys, make sure you check out Ballistic Barbecue on YouTube. Go and subscribe. He does awesome stuff, does uh, Greg. And uh, go and check him out because you're not going to be disappointed. In the meantime, we're going to keep drinking and eating these burgers. 
We'll catch you next time. Thank you for coming, guys. Cheers.